In this video, we're going to see efficiency of a bridge rectifier. Efficiency is defined as the ability of the rectifier to convert the input power to the DC power. So we take that ratio to be output DC power to that of the input power. So the straightforward quantity is the output DC power, which is I DC square times the load resistor. We know what is I DC value, which is 2 I M by pi. So we have a whole square here times RL. So this is equal to 4 I M square over pi square times RL. Now we need to find what is P in the input power. So for that, let me take the bridge rectifier circuit from the secondary winding and forward. We have seen that the input voltage was a sinusoid waveform. And even the current supplied by the secondary winding is also a sinusoid waveform. But whereas the current we see flowing through the load resistor was a rectified full wave at the output. Now coming to the input power, this will be equal to 1 over 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi, the input voltage Vi times the input current. So input voltage is Vm sin alpha and the input current is Im sin alpha d alpha. So we can write Vm is equal to Im times 2 Rf plus Rl. So that the input power can be written as 2 RF plus RL times 1 over 2 pi integral I m square sin square alpha d alpha or the integration 0 to 2 pi. So if you take this value, this is I RMS square. So we can say that the input power is equal to IRMS square times 2 RF plus RL which is equal to IRMS is IM by square root 2 square of it is IM square over 2 times 2 RF plus RL. Now as we know both output DC power and the input power let's find the efficiency here. Efficiency is equal to the output DC power is 4 I m square over pi square times R L over the input power which is I m square by 2 times 2 R F plus R L. So I m squares cancel. So we have 8 by pi square times R L over 2 R F plus R L. So this value would be equal to 0 0.81 which means the maximum efficiency we can have is 0 0.81 in terms of percentages we can say it is 81 percent assuming that 2 RF is very very small compared to RF.